Nations for the first round of qualifiers of the Africa Cup of Nations Morocco 2015. The reports of the referee of the match and the match commissioner argued that Kenya coach sat at the fourth referee and was subsequently sent off from the match. The appeal board, having reviewed the new evidence on the record and testimonies of the parties involved, concluded that there was no certainty as to the facts alleged against the appellant. But based on a DVD, the appeal board found that the behavior of the Kenyan coach throughout the match was not blameless as he repeatedly engaged in disrespectful attitudes against the central referee of the match and the fourth referee, especially following his ejection. Finally, in basketball, as part of preparations for the upcoming Basketball World Cup in Spain, two of Africa's representatives, Senegal and Angola, have continued their path to the tournament with a show of confidence. The African basketball powerhouse Senegal, who are in Spain already, played an exhibition game in Estonia on Friday. They grabbed a 22-14 lead after 10 minutes, but Estonia picked up the tempo in the second frame and erased the deficit and still went on to secure a 39-38 halftime lead. Estonia stayed in charge throughout the third term, but in the final stanza, Senegal quickly pulled in front as the Africans ensured double-digit leads and hung on to clinch victory at the end. Angola, on the other hand, clashed with the Philippines in an exhibition game in San Sebastian. The African team got away as winners in a game that started with 17 points apiece after 10 minutes. They protected the lead throughout the final stanza to emerge winner of the game. And that is our package for today on Africa Hour Sports. Thanks for listening. I am Nake Origin. Thank you, Nake. Let's take a look now at major events that have taken place today throughout African history. On this day in 1908, Malai Hafid declared himself Sultan of Marrakesh, Morocco, prompting the previous incumbent, Sultan Abdulaziz, to flee for his life. Also on this day in 1964, over 100 European mercenaries were reported in the Congo supporting government troops. Finally, on this day in 1993, the Motswin Commission of South Africa finds the African National Congress guilty of abuse in its camp. Those are the snippets of today in African history. I'm Akatahi Ojia. Well, Africa Allah won't be complete without our African proverb. And today we have this one from the Egon people of Nasarawa State in north central Nigeria. It says, He that beats the drum for a madman to dance is not better than the madman. Well, it could be interpreted to mean it's only bad persons that support bad things. of Africa Hour here again are the highlights. The recently concluded national conference in Nigeria has been described as a huge success. In an interview with Voice of Nigeria, Mr. Danison Hart, a delegate at the conference who represented people living with disabilities in Nigeria, said that the conference enhanced the unity of the country. And a new law imposing prison terms for anyone caught hiding an Ebola patient has been approved in Sierra Leone. The approval of the two-year prison term by the parliament followed the resistance from the public to seek for medical treatment for the disease. And flooding occasioned by heavy rainfall has killed at least 12 people and rendered more than 36,000 homeless in Niger Republic. Those are the highlights of this evening's news. Africa Hour was produced by Ebene Okoye. And I am Amaka Liam. Thank you very much for staying with us. That was Africa Hour. I hope you were adequately informed on issues from the African continent. It's been quite an interesting broadcast today, and I hope you learned a lot from our program for this segment. Do join us again on the English service from Voice of Nigeria, Abuja, for more news and programs at 9 hours GMT. And always remember to imbibe hygienic habits to avoid the spread of diseases. And also, say no to all forms of slavery because it is a crime against humanity. We'll be handing you over to our full today's service now. Thank you for staying with us. I am Okatahi Ojia.